all new hot and techy Brazza, the city bird SUV. Double header Saturday for only the second time this season and it kicks off in the afternoon with Delhi hosting Mumbai in a game with a lot at stake for two teams who are looking to make their way upwards on the points table. What can we expect? Let's find out on Maruti Suzuki Arena presents ESPN Trick and 4 timeout powered by JBL in the company of Mitch McLennigan and Wasim Jaffer. Thank you gentlemen for your time. This is a lot riding on this game, Basim, because both these teams, Mumbai with six points, Delhi with eight, know that there's a lot of catching up to do to keep their top four hopes alive. Definitely. Uh, and especially for Mumbai, I would say, uh, because they came in as tournament favourites uh, and this tournament hasn't gone to their liking. Uh, so they would like to uh, reverse that. Uh, and this is the game to do it. Uh, Delhi has picked up points. Delhi have been playing well. They found the right combination. So this is the game to turn it around, otherwise it's going to be too late. Uh, so yeah, Hardik Pandya and company have a task cut out in front of them. The reverse fixture was also a day game, then mm -hmm. at Wankhede, which mm -hmm. gave Mumbai their first win of the season. Yep. They know that they need this day game to, to go their way as well. Yeah, 100%. Um, this is do or die for Mumbai. Um, I know they potentially can make it through if they win five of their last six, but you know they won't be looking to drop a game against Delhi because the fixtures they have after this game are all above them in the table. And, and you want to take some momentum into those games. You want to feel like your unit's clicking. Uh, because those, those games against teams that are higher up the table than you are really good opportunities. Really good opportunities to obviously gain some ground on those teams and, and then get their momentum going in the wrong way. So huge fixture. Uh, they'll take confidence from the day game that they beat uh, Delhi in at home. Uh, but Delhi's starting to click. You know, Rishabh Pant's in form, Tristan Stubbs is looking nice. Uh, the Indian bowlers are, are doing a pretty good job, so they're coming off a good victory as well. Yeah, that win over Gujarat uh, mm. could be potentially huge in Delhi's season. Without a doubt. Uh, they, they, like I said, they've got together and they've clicked as a team, they've, even though the Ishan Sharma has been injured. Uh, but they found Rasik Salam, who's came in and did a good job. Uh, their batters have been clicking. Rishabh has played magnificent knock. Uh, and with Warner missing also, I think the other guys have stepped up uh, mm. and that's a good sign. Uh, and they are clicking as a team. Aksar's promotion, I thought, was a really nice one. Uh, they, they have underutilized him as a batter, but you know, him batting at number three or four is not a bad idea, especially given that right-hand, left-hand combination. He's definitely bowling well uh, and with Kuldeep, the way he's been bowling. So they are coming as a force uh, in the tournament. The two games we have seen in Delhi at the Arun Jaitley Stadium so far have both been high-scoring affairs. That bodes well for Mumbai's batters. The bowlers, though, it's a continuing theme. We saw a different mix in the last outing against Rajasthan. Mm. Novan Tushara got a game. Mm. Yush Chavla got a game. Do you expect to see Mumbai with a similar bowling lineup? Yeah, I could see PC playing again. I, I thought he, he bowled nicely. Um, Novan Tushara... Didn't show me enough to go, yep, he's an absolute lock. But I, I'd imagine that they'll keep him in this, this side, um, you know, just to, to keep that continuity and give him another opportunity. It's not nice coming in and only playing one game. So mm -hmm. there's a chance that he comes in. But, yeah, the rest of the bowlers have struggled, haven't they? Uh, uh, Gerald Kutsi has probably been the only one who has looked decent. And then the last game he had one bad over, which was actually a pretty good over in terms of what he bowled. And and where he got hit, he, he looked to challenge just, uh, just well. So, yeah, I, I'd like to see a little bit more confidence in him to be able to do a job because he's a guy who can take you three wickets in a, in a match. And, and wickets, what they were seeing with this impact, sub, are so important in terms of um, stopping the side getting 220, 240. So it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a massive challenge. Uh, but day, day games in Delhi as well. Uh, sometimes that wicket can just hold a little bit more. And, Geez, if you turn up there and it's a fresh one, you might be a little bit concerned. But hopefully for the bowlers, there's going to be a little bit of grip in the wicket. And that perhaps is a case for Mohammad Nabi to get more of a look with the ball? Uh, potentially. Uh, but uh, being a spinner sometimes, uh, and that too an off-spinner, uh, it can restrict you because uh, it's such a small ground. Uh, but in a day game, uh, you could definitely do that. Uh, but for Mumbai... Uh, you know, it starts from Hardik Pandya, I would say, again. Uh, you know, his captaincy have been uh, in the scanner uh, and the decisions they have made. So, that needs to get better. Uh, you know, against Rajasthan, he made a lot of mistakes. Uh, 
and that needs to be corrected if, if they need to get up and where he bats uh, and where he bowls and how he uses his arsenal, uh, that needs to get better for sure. Right. Let's turn our attention to the host, Delhi Capitals, uh, will continue to be without David Warner and Ishan Sharma for this game. Uh, they also now have an official replacement for Mitchell Marsh, who was ruled out of the tournament, and that is Gulbadin Naib. Mm. Uh, they brought in an all-rounder, which clearly suggests what hole they're looking to plug. But is there a role for Naib? Do you see him make it to the playing eleven? It's a tough one, isn't it? Because his recent form... Um, against India in the series. He, he came in as a hitter towards the end, so I can see why they've picked him up if that's the role that they're trying to fulfil. So, But he doesn't really strike me as a... In, in IPL cricket, he doesn't strike me as a four-over bowler. Um, so it's what hole you're trying to plug. Are you trying to bring in another finisher because your plan is to keep Akshay Patel up at number three and you want some weight down towards the end of the innings, then... Uh, that's a potential option where you might look at leaving Nokia out and uh, Gulbadeen bowls one or two overs, two or three if he's bowling well. And then there's your striker with Tristan Stubbs at the end to back up Rishabh Punt. Uh, but if you're thinking that you're bringing him in as an out-and-out -out bowler uh, and you're thinking of replacing him with, uh, Nokia. with the Nokia, then I I'd look at Jai Richardson mm. uh, first and foremost uh, ahead of playing him. So it just depends what they want. Do they want to a bit of both, um, and expect that the, the, with Ishan Sharma being out, that the local seamers are going to be able to do enough job that he doesn't have to bowl four overs. Then that's fine. Otherwise, if you want a if you want a bowler who's going to take your wicket to the top, and you don't want to play Nokia, then I think you've got to look at Jai Richardson first. Could there be a case for Nayib in place of Shea Hope, which also allows Delhi to bat mm. Tristan Stubbs one spot higher? Uh, possibly. Possibly. I mean, Shai Hope is a good player, uh, even though he hasn't had the best yet. Uh, but I think at number four, he's not a bad player. Uh, but if you need somebody to come in as a finisher and, like Mitch said, bowl a couple of overs, then, yeah, you strengthen your batting lower down the order. So, even though they're one, you don't need to make too many ch changes mm. just for the sake of it. If you feel Henrik Nokia is not the guy, then probably Jai Richardson, even Lizard Williams, uh, you know, he's not a bad bowler. Uh, you can replace him like for like changes. All right, uh, let's let's get predictions. Are Mumbai winning this match? Yeah, Mumbai won this comfortably. I am back in Delhi. It's just what I was hoping okay. for. We've got the split panel here. <laughs> what do you think? Tell us in the comment section and be sure to join the build-up to Delhi versus Mumbai on Saturday afternoon, just before toss time on Maruti Suzuki Arena. Presents ESPN Trick Info Timeout, powered by JDL. All new hot and techy breath up, the city bird SUV.